Hello and welcome to Capital Ideas TV. I'm Mark Bunting. This is becoming a more familiar sight. People squinting at their smartphones. It's practically a national pastime in many places, and it's just one of the bad habits that does not bode well for our eyesight. Cases of myopia have surged 66% in the United States since the 1970s, and now one in four children wears glasses. It's no wonder the vision care market is a booming business. Data from the Vision Council estimates $40 billion was spent on vision care products and services in 2017. It's been a steady climb for sales of prescription lenses and ophthalmic frames, which made up more than half that total. This worrying trend is a worldwide phenomenon, too. A recent report by Research and Markets predicts the global vision care market will be worth $66 billion by 2022. It's against that backdrop that iCarrot Innovation sees a big opportunity. The company has developed a suite of products that help eye care professionals deliver top-notch treatment. A mobile app platform connects them with patients at home where they can monitor their progress and optimize their treatment plans. iCarrot CEO Adam Sigelski believes these high-tech tools give clients the data they need to improve patient outcomes and elevate their practices. So Adam, for example, I would walk into a, an optometrist's office and she would uh, test me for my vision. She would uh, check for any eye disease, give me a prescription, and I'm on my way. That's sort of the traditional way. But with the Bonovi platform, you, you deal with the functional eye care. You go further. So what is that exactly? Yeah, really what we're talking about is the difference between structural problems and functional problems. Uh, humans have 17 different vision skills, but your standard eye exam measures one of those skills. So what we're talking about is really like your computer here. You've got a screen, you've got a keyboard, you've got a mouse. All those things are, are part of the structure, but the functioning is all the software. So the, how your eyes and brain work together is really the software of your visual system. And that's what Bonovi is measuring, that's what Bonovi is treating. Give us some real life scenarios uh, as far as functional vision care as it relates especially to ADHD. Easy examples are driving my car. I used vision skills to make sure that I don't hit anyone on the way in here. Uh, senior citizens, you know, stepping off a curb, not falling and breaking your hip is, is a very important skill to have through the visual system. Uh, and learning, you know, children in school, they look at the blackboard, they try and get information from the teacher. They're receiving that and translating that, you know, that's a vision skill to look up, look down, look up, look down, be aware of what's happening. When it comes to ADHD, uh, five out of the nine symptoms of ADHD are the same as functional vision problems. So the question is, why are we medicating kids without doing a quick one or two minute test on their functional vision skills? Bonovi has applications in the sports realm. Uh, give us some examples there if you could, uh, especially in regards to, uh, to brain uh, injuries. Okay, so sporting is, is a perfect example of uh, hockey. You know, Wayne Gretzky, Connor McDavid, these guys have incredibly flexible visual systems, depth perception. You know, they see everything in their periphery that's happening. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald's another great example, one of the best wide receivers. Uh, he had a learning disability as a kid. He had grandparents that were functional vision therapy doctors. So he trained those vision skills, developed this amazing hand-eye coordination, and uh, became the athlete he is. And when it comes to, to brain injuries, Functional vision skills and functional vision testing allows us to quickly identify what's going on after a concussion. So, you know, in a, in a concussion scenario, you lose your periphery, you end up with tunnel vision, uh, and it becomes, you know, these are things that are very easy to measure, but very dramatic when it comes to uh, how it affects the brain. So give us some more um, ideas as to how Bonovi differentiates itself uh, from traditional testing and how practitioners uh, uh, assess patients and, and how they use the data and to improve uh, patient care. Uh, so what we do with Bonovi is we break down the functional vision skills into clinical categories. So we can run tests that actually measure specific skills and obviously once you've identified which of those functioning skills is it deficient, you can now target that area and you can treat that area you know, much easier. It makes it easier for optometrists in general to be able to treat specific functions after identifying which functions are not working properly. In terms of data, what do you exactly collect from the patients and then how do the uh, practitioners uh, go on to use that data? Uh, there's a lot of different data that we're capturing, obviously uh, results from tests, communication back and forth between uh, patients and therapists and doctors. So the data allows us to get real-time information on the patient uh, and obviously the treatment protocols can then be accelerated and be structured according to that data that we're getting. Adam, the Bonovi platform is on a, a subscription 
based model. So what's the pricing or what are the different levels that uh, the users can uh, participate in? Uh, we're trying to make it very simple for users to get started. Uh, basic level is $99 per month, but what we're seeing is, uh, you know, as modalities, uh, software modalities get increased, uh, that pricing increases as well. So there are different levels, but it's very easy to get started at, you know, under $100 a month. All right, so functional vision care. What kind of addressable market are we talking about here? Well, one in four people have a functional vision problem. So obviously that's a huge number. I'd be one of those, clearly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, so we're dealing with obviously a, a tremendous number of people. Uh, let's look at the ADHD market alone. You know, that's a $12 billion industry. A lot of drugs are being sold into that industry. So if we can actually affect uh, a quarter of that population, that's a significant market for us to go after. You recently struck a distribution deal in the United States, uh, and this is a fairly old company, as I recall. So uh, what's the fit there for iCarrot, and uh, uh, how's it going to affect your growth? A uh, critical step for us in the United States, a uh, company that has over 16,000 products, has been distributing for, I think, over 50 years in the United States, uh, pretty much services all of the vision care industry. Um, so obviously to do a partnership with them, uh, have them leading our product distribution in the States has been great. We're about six months into that deal and uh, we're very excited about what they've done so far. And ultimately we're going to expand on what products we're offering uh, that market. And lastly, Adam, investors uh, would like to know, uh, they've heard a lot of interesting information about iCarrot. What's the, the, the revenue uh, projection uh, in a rough sense and what are you looking at in terms of uh, profitability? How, how's growth looking? So what we're finding is clinics are starting, uh, users are starting at about $99 per month and they're working there up to $500, $600 per month. So, you know, at 1,000 clinics, that's, that's $500,000 of recurring revenue per month. And we're dealing with, you know, potentially hundreds of thousands of customers in the States. So, you know, we're obviously very excited about the ability to scale. Our software is in a very solid position right now. Um, and profitability uh, will depend really on how quickly we want to grow our team. Um, but we're a nimble team. Uh, we've built the majority of our software and we're excited about 2019.